Hello and welcome. I am Annette Reeder from TheBiblicalNutritionist.com and today it's all about another grocery discovery where we're going to look at three new foods that are prebiotic rich. Now the good news is you're already eating them so I just want to say good for you. Now if you're not already eating them in the natural state then I'm going to say hey we need to challenge you on that. So I'm going to get two of them in here at Whole Foods. The other one, I've got a surprise where I'm going to find it. And I know you can find it too. Now before I go any further, you need to know this video is being sponsored by BiblicalNutritionAcademy.com. That's where we post all of our courses so that you can start learning God's recipe for excellent health. So if you're looking for a course on fasting, we've got it. How about praying for miracles? We've got that too. What about just understanding the treasures of healthy living from God's Word? We've got that Bible study course ready and waiting for you. So be sure and check it out, BiblicalNutritionAcademy.com. Now if you're watching this on Facebook, go ahead and like the page. If you're on YouTube, go ahead and hit like, subscribe, the bell, you name it, do it all. You know what to do and I look forward to reading your comments. Before we look at the three foods that I want to share with you today that are very common, okay two out of three are common, let's look at the benefits of having prebiotics. Number one, they starve the bad bacteria. That means that bad bacteria that loves to cause havoc in your system, that loves to repopulate bad germs, we're going to starve it out. That's huge benefit. Number two, they are going to gobble up cancer cells, specifically cancer cells that are populating in your colon, your GI tract, which could cause lots of different types of cancers, stomach cancers, colon cancers, just a lot of cancers that we actually need to take charge of and as much as possible eat prebiotic rich foods. Number three, it helps absorb calcium. Many times people are spilling calcium and it'll show up in their blood test that they have high calcium levels. What the problem is, is they're not absorbing the calcium and we need prebiotics to absorb calcium. When we are absorbing calcium properly, we have less episodes of kidney stones or osteoporosis. So that's two good reasons to add prebiotics. Number four is mental focus. Now, how many of you will put in the comments down below, yes, I could use a little bit more mental focus in my day. Then we need to start feeding our body more intentionally prebiotic foods. Number five is it decreases eczema in children. Many times children have eczema because of not having a healthy microbiome from the moment of of being born. So when a mom is not eating healthy when she's pregnant, she's not passing along that good bacteria to the child. When the child is born with an unhealthy microbiome, this is why a, a traditional vaginal birth is so important. It helps to populate that microbiome. This is why skin-to-skin -skin contact between a mother and a baby helps populate that microbiome. And then for the mom to be eating extremely healthy diet when she's nursing, this is so important because children who don't get this have a tendency to develop food allergies which can then lead to eczema. Yet, God's beautiful design is our body's design to heal. Remember it says in Exodus, I am the Lord who heals you. God is the only one who heals and he created our body to heal because it's made in his image. This all makes so much sense. So if we want to help our children who have eczema or skin issues, we need to feed them prebiotic rich foods. And number six may seem obvious, but it feeds the probiotics. Probiotics are like grass seeds. So we sprinkle it on our lawn and then we hope it to grow. But yet if we feed it fertilizer, it will grow more rich, more thick. It'd be like a carpet, a beautiful carpet. That's what prebiotics do. They feed the probiotics. And probiotics, just look at that word. It's just a beautiful word. It is for life. Pro means for, bio is life. So we're feeding the life-giving nutrients, the life-giving 
cells in our body which are not actually us they are their own DNA and they go through our entire body they populate and they cleanse and they help us to stay beautiful young and healthy and so to feed the probiotics is what we need in our diet every day now let's go to the three foods because you can do this every single day well here we have it the first food is onions yes just a common food just a food that you can add in so many ways into your meals you could add it nice and raw chopped up finely on any salad any power five salad throw it on top of your spaghetti throw it on top of your tacos just get a tablespoon of onions in your diet every day and you just say mm, yum 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 i am feeding my prebiotics just a quick glimpse of my garden i have this one box that is all onions and so they are doing really well as you can see Our second prebiotic rich food is garlic, must be organic, is garlic because garlic does so many things. In the Treasures of Healthy Living Nutrition Manual, I have pages written about garlic and the health benefits of garlic. We truly want to have these in our diet every day. Now just being the honest gardener, here is some of the garlic that I planted last fall. I did that on a video, so some of you might have caught that. Okay, they're not looking as pretty as I want them to. I have a few that are looking a little bit better in another area. But yeah, growing garlic yourself, you will guarantee they're going to be organic. Well, here is number three. Yes, we've got dandelion greens here. We've got a dandelion that I pulled up in my yard. What we're looking for, though, is the root. This right here, we want this root. We want to go in, scrub it, and clean it. And then you can add, you can chop this up and add it into your salad. Yes, yeah, so stop spraying the dandelions. I've done a video on dandelions, so go back and check that video out. This is definitely a prebiotic rich food. So yes, you can have the, the greens and that's perfect for a salad. In fact, the entire dandelion plant is extremely helpful. But you can eat these raw, scrub them really good, and don't be afraid of that dirt. It's actually much healthier than a lot of the pesticides you're getting on traditionally raised foods. So scrub the dandelion roots really well, chop them up, add them to a salad. Many people will dehydrate them and powder them and make it into a tea, or you can actually just steep the roots once they've been cleaned really well and make that into a tea. To get the prebiotic rich foods, we really wanna just eat them raw. So go ahead and enjoy that. You don't have to tell your family that you're, you're feeding them weeds for dinner, but just so you know, you're feeding them healthy foods. Well, there you have it, three foods, three more foods to add to our list from last week that are prebiotic rich. You see, we don't have to always be taking a supplement when God has given us foods that have more of an exponential effect than taking a supplement. We just need to be intentionally aware that God's foods are always the right answer. And in their raw, natural form is going to give us an exponential benefit in our body. And what I mean by that is man is always trying to isolate and monetize. God has always created things that are going to to exponentially grow and help us to thrive. And that's the difference. And so God is always looking out for our good so we can better serve him, we can better communicate with him. Man is always trying to get us addicted to purchased items. So not that I never buy anything, I do. But I just really want you to see the goodness of the Lord in these foods because he desires to have a relationship with you and he wants you to trust him with your health instead of running to a white lab coat every time something happens. So thank you for watching. I am Annette Reeder from the biblicalnutritionist.com. Remember, this video is being sponsored by biblicalnutritionacademy.com where we have all of our courses, fasting, prayer, food, eating, you name it, it's there for you to check out and learn God's recipe for excellent health. And don't forget, never forget, the first ingredient is that God loves you. He loves you with an unconditional love. No matter what has happened to you in your life, God loves you. He always has, he always will, and he, he will forever. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. 
because that's the God who we serve. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, the bell, you name it, you do it. Like it on Facebook. I enjoy serving you this recipe. Thanks for watching. My husband's doctor was writing prescriptions faster than our hearts were beating with stress. Yet, could there be another way? Is there another answer? Well, that is when a friend suggested to me, Annette, go back into God's Word, start reading it differently, and start with the Daniel fast. Well, those words changed the trajectory of our lives. And 30 days later, we were prescription free, 35 pounds lighter, combined total, lower cholesterol, lower triglycerides, and we knew that God had answered our prayer for greater health His way. Now, if you are praying for an answer on how to get started, I highly recommend the Daniel Fast. First, go to the biblicalnutritionacademy.com website, click on the Daniel Fast, and sign up. It's that easy. Plus, the link will be in the show notes below.